What's up guys, Jody Dean, Mr. Hunting the Dead here. Before we start this video, I want to give a big shout out to the HTD YouTube channel members. Maria Trenum, Chills AF, HTD Paranormal Dolls, April Love, Wendy Adele, Youngblood, Skater Freak, Pasky the Peruvian Princess, XX Bluey 312 XX, Classic Gamer 74, Verani Kulam, Lisa Spasato, Robert Jones, Anonymous, Paranormal Topher, Terry Gomez, Frankie HTDP, JCT, Lady Kate Beauty, Dark Angel Chrissy Holder, Greta Goff, Roberta Apple, Fearless Demon 54, Steve J, and September Mother Frickin' Phoenix. Oh, but wait, you thought we were done. Hell nah, Shayla McClellan, Tammy Adams, Sheila Medina, Tina France, Kara Martells, Edward Franks, Sean Truax, Harmony the Bad Girl, Sarah Crook, Maria Tobin, Canadian Gal, Christy Acosta, Mr. Harris, Jason and Alicia Bear, and that's about it right now, but I know you guys are thinking about hitting the join button right now, and I want to tell you that is turning shit up a notch, so hit that button <laughs> I'm Jody Dean, Mr. Hunting the Dead. That one right there gets my attention. Something this is going to grab me. It's time to turn shit up a notch with the warlock. It's time to turn shit up a notch with the warlock. You ever been scratched or touched? Yes, on the back of the neck. Did you hear that? What was that? Do, do what? what? Hunting the Dead! Hunting the Dead! Demonic. 666. Let's go turn shit up a notch. What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Jody Dean, Mr. Hunting the Dead here. Uh, right now I'm getting ready to uh, do the Ouija board in a spirit box session in a replicated schoolhouse area. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this because there's no haunting history of this schoolhouse, but I do believe there are children spirits walking around and I may be able to get them to join me here for a little school session. Here's a little look around guys so you can see what I'm working with here and why I think it may be a nice little trigger object. We'll do a little sweep of the whole entire school replication right here. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is a lot of people think you have to be at a haunted location in order to communicate with spirits. That's not true. You pass hundreds of thousands of spirits a day, whether you realize it or not, and you can communicate with spirits anywhere. Yes, at particular haunted locations, it's easier because they are settled. And just like anybody, man, when you get settled into a place, the whole energy changes. It feels like home. Hello class, my name is Jody, Mr. Hunting the Dead. Uh, if there's any kids nearby, or if there's any kids here now, I invite you to stay because we are going to learn. We are going to learn how to communicate. Since you are a spirit, I want to give you a voice, a voice that the living can hear and document that we can communicate with one another. If you're sitting here right now, I would appreciate it if you give me a sign, make a noise, a little tap on your bench will work. Now, if you need energy to do this, I invite you to use mine. Use the surroundings. Use nature. Use the atmospherics.
Okay, there was just something right there in that area. And that little pocket between that post and the wall. Is that you? You can come on into class now. You don't have to hide. We welcome you here. Okay, children, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Ouija board out right now. I'm going to put the Ouija board together. I have this beautiful leather made Ouija board by one of my amazing friends and supporters. Uh, we also offer them for the people watching right now at Hunting the Dead. So all you have to do is send me an email at toyhustlers at gmail.com. Just how it sounds is just how you spell it. Uh, these are really cool because you can roll them up, buckle them, and bring them with you anywhere, and they flatten right out. Sometimes you just got to give it a little one of these, and it's good to go. All right, so as always, I like to start off with the planchette right in the middle. Uh, it does take a certain amount of skill and connection uh, and spiritual relationship to be able to do a Ouija board by yourself. Uh, lots and lots and lots of years of practice. This is something you're not going to be able to sit down and do right away, so don't get frustrated. Is there any children here right now? Is there any children here that would like to send a message to their parents? All right, so, so far I don't feel anything here. I feel spirits nearby. I don't feel anything connecting to the board. Spirits are welcome to communicate and come through here. I wish to speak to children, teenagers. Is there any kids that have a message for the living. Here we go. Maybe. Um, it's around U and V. You could call that a V or you could call that a U or you could call that UV. You can continue to speak. F. Maybe they were trying to go to F in the beginning and, and they didn't have enough energy to keep going. F what, my friend? F what? Okay, it's moving pretty well here now. F R. FR, please continue. FR what? And I'm barely touching this, guys. Barely touching this at all. E. FRE. Please continue. FRE. E. Free? What is free, my friend? Please explain to us. You have our attention. It's moving. M. Free M. M what? Is there anything else? Free M? E. 
E. Free me? Yes. Free me, yes. Okay guys, I continued with the Ouija board for a few more moments and nothing else came through. So we got uh, free, me, and yes, uh, which I'm, I'm happy with that because again, I'm at a spot where maybe the spirits aren't subtle. Maybe the spirits aren't wanting to spend their time at the schoolhouse, but I definitely have their attention. I've set a spirit box over there. I've set a spirit box over there. Would you like to speak with me? Oh, no way. This EMF detector had brand new batteries in it and it's not coming on. It's brand new as well. And what are their names? Is there any way I can help the spirits here? Well guys, that's it for this video. I feel like it was actually pretty successful. Um, I, I definitely felt the energy finally come to the Ouija board and communicate a little bit. Uh, there was definitely some really good responses on the spirit box, which is cool about the spirit box because the spirits technically don't have to be right here in the same vicinity as me. They can be 50 feet away, they can be 100 feet away, um, and because they're energy, they are able to speak easily over that frequency line, which is really a beautiful thing if you think about it. Anyways, if you guys like this video, definitely leave a like. Leave comments below, share the video, let me know if you want to see more videos like this, going to unhaunted locations and making them haunted, uh, seeing how haunted they are, because everybody on the internet is going to the most haunted, creepiest, scary places, and although I like doing that myself, and that's, you know, that's really cool, it makes a great video, it's great content, uh, you can get great documentations there, how cool would it be to go to places that have no reputation whatsoever and document phenomenal paranormal evidence, so uh, leave that in the comments below. Guys, grab your hunting the dead merchandise HTD number four life.com if you want one of these hats you just have to send thirty dollars to paypal.me backslash hunting the dead children there's only one thing left to say and I hope you all take it with you sweet nightmares